how's it going hope everybody is well today's video we are testing out a new foundation um i don't think it's a new new foundation by any means but it's new to me i'd never seen it before and so i was like ooh, because yeah i wanted to try it so uh, the foundation is the rimmel fresher skin breathable natural finish foundation and it looks like this i picked this up from my local boots my camera's just pooping its pants there we go um i got the color ivory um and there was no testers they'd all been pinched um and i got the color ivory because this is a rimmel one that i love and that's ivory so i kind of just hope that they were the same color um this was uh, on boots at the moment this is seven pound 49 but i think i paid less than that um it was on offer i've had this for a couple of weeks and i just forgot about it until just now so i'm just on the boops wed the boops the boops boop the boops wed so i just said it again boops the boots crumbs the boots website and it says a revolution in lightweight foundation a fresher skin foundation offers a light breathable coverage for an even natural looking fresh finish that stays shine free all day ultra smooth texture is easy to apply blends perfectly for a belly there feel that does not clog pores and let skin breathe um it says the formula is with mineral powders helps absorb excess oil preventing shine while the formula with aloe chamomile and sea algae uh extracts help reduce the appearance of redness and even out for a natural skin tone so yes um i'm super excited to try it i haven't even opened it yet it is still all sealed so my skin is primed and moisturized with my tarte brighter days moisturizer and then i have primed with my born to glow nyx primer um so it comes like this and then you get a little oh a little doodad and that is the top of the foundation it looks gross it looks like it's separated a little bit um i'm just gonna i'm not really sure if i should do this or not but i'm gonna give it a little shake maybe and see if that i shake foundation when it's in a bowl so okay that looks a bit better so yeah um, I don't like that this is in a pot at all because I don't really know how. I don't want to be digging my finger in and out because it might be a bit gross. But let's just get it on my face. So I'm going to do this half of my face with a brush and then I will do the other half of my face with a beauty blender. Let's get my mirror. I'm using my Y6 by Morphe. And just the colors a good match i thought it would be i kind of hoped that they'd be the same color it is a very very sheer coverage kind of feels like a bb cream it smells nice i haven't ever tried a rimmel foundation that doesn't smell nice they just smell really fresh and clean so fresh and so clean um there was a concealer that matched this but they didn't have um they didn't have the shade that i thought i would need so i didn't end up picking that up but i will be on the lookout for that um so you can see straight away it has completely reduced the redness on my face um but you can totally still see my skin through it which is really nice i do really like that i always say i'm not a fan of full coverage foundation because i'm not very good at making my face look perfect and i feel that when you have full coverage foundation you need to have everything like everything needs to be perfect and nothing is ever perfect on my face um that was weird so that's gone really nicely with a brush so let's try the other side with a sponge so i feel like i put the right amount on for I'm gonna have to get like a little spatula or something or a little palette because I do not like sticking I'm doing it I'm taking it off the lid I'm not sticking my finger into the actual pot um and I've just got a wet a damp beauty blender it is currently um 10 past one in the afternoon because I have been filming videos this morning and playing with the kids and we just watched Curious George um so I'm not going out and or I'm going to Kate's it two so i thought i would just put some makeup on and then we can give this a bit of a wear test because i'll have it on till um around about nine o'clock tonight i imagine so we can see how it 
wears through the day um again it's, it's covered the redness i really like the finish it is super super natural um i've got another big mirror behind that i can sort of see from further away um the color is a really nice match for me um to be honest it does feel very similar to the wake me up foundation by rimmel it feels it, i don't know it looks similar i might have to do a side by side and see but they look and feel really similar um it's not like sticking in any dry patches i am typically a little bit oily just here and then dry especially in the winter like really around my nose is super dry at the moment um but it is it's covering everything and i really like it it's really nice and dewy um so yeah it, i feel like i still want to set it because it does feel a little bit wet i'm going to give it a few more minutes um i'm going to pop some concealer on quickly i'm just going to use where is it my collection concealer just because it's a really nice light one um That has blended in really nicely. My sponge feels a little bit dry while I'm using the brush. I can use a dry brush for concealer, but I can't use a dry sponge because it grosses me out. Okay. So I'm going to give this a couple of minutes and we'll see if we need to set it and yeah. It's been a few minutes. Um, I'm just going to set my under eyes and just see how I feel about the rest of the face. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder because I'm kind of thinking that it's the same brand. So they should play nicely together. Why I'm always like... I think everybody does it when they set their under eyes. I do feel like I want to lightly set it. I'm just going to get a big brush and just really lightly set it. impressions i really really like this it it's not clinging anywhere it's not settling into any lines and i've got a lot of lines because i'm old as balls um i really like it and it's a nice color match so i'm gonna finish off the rest of my face we'll come back and then i'm gonna do some check-ins throughout the day so i'll see you when i am full faced right my full face is done i have set the foundation with my um new coconut fix plus which i just want to bathe in because it smells so good um it is now 10 to 2 i'm now going to go to kate's house we'll see how this foundation wears everything layered really nicely over the top i've got bronzer highlighter um everything just went on really lovely so uh nothing is clinging nothing is patchy um i did have to sweep away some fallout from the eyeshadow and nothing moved it's worked really nicely there so yeah let's see how long this bitch can wear so we'll see you later hey guys um it is five o'clock so it is about i think about three and a half hours since i put this foundation on that is this rimmel um fresher skin that doesn't want to focus because the camera is a bad face. There you go. Um, yeah, it's been about three hours. 
I didn't even think it gets dark at like four o'clock um but at the moment it it seems to be okay it doesn't appear to have broken apart anywhere um I really like the finish so I am going to wear this again tomorrow and then wear it for the day and do like a full day's wear test and just see how it lasts and I'll do my final check-in in daylight rather than having a bright light shone directly in my face. Um, but yeah, so far I'm loving it. It does really remind me of the um, Wake Me Up Foundation by Rimmel. Um, I probably prefer this one. Just, I don't know. I just, I just prefer this one. Um, but I will wear it again tomorrow and yeah, we'll do some more check-ins. Morning guys, it is day two of testing out the Rimmel Fresher Skin Foundation. I have literally just got, I look really weird. I've got um, the foundation on with eyebrows and a teeny tiny bit of bronzer and concealer. And that's it, there's nothing else on my face. I might put some mascara on, um, but my eyes feel really like today. So I might not, but I just thought I would give you, I'm just zooming you in a little bit so you can see. This is the foundation. I absolutely love how it sits on your skin. I've actually got on um, the Tarte Brighter Days Moisturiser, um, which I didn't realise, but if you can see on my hands, it, like, I've rubbed it and I was like, why the hell are my hands covered in glitter? And it is the moisturiser. Um, and, and then I've also got on the e.l.f hydrating primer because my skin feels super dry today so yeah I feel really nice nicely covered but still really natural um but yeah it's 20 past 10 this is how it looks so we're going to give it a wear test and I will remember to film before it gets dark today I've already forgotten how long I put had this foundation for. I think I put the foundation on at like half past eight it's now one o'clock just trying to get you somewhere where there is some good light so you can see. I really, really like it. It doesn't appear to be breaking apart anywhere. I am. Um, I did just open the oven when it was on and just like get a whole face full of boiling hot air. Um, that I wasn't. It wasn't my favourite. I'm just gonna get into my little mirror here and oh my. my the creepy mirror side that no it's not it's settled a little bit into my lines just here but I'm literally this is a magnifying mirror and I'm like really really close to it so yeah I'd say a little bit here I'm like a teeny tiny bit but if I look at it in my normal mirror I can't see any of them it's literally just when I'm in the super super close-up mirror so yeah I think that's been like five hours since I had this on now so I am gonna call this a win I really love this foundation um I think it's gonna be my new every single day one I prefer much prefer it I do still love I do still love this, but this does oxidise slightly on me. This one hasn't oxidised in the slightest. It's a really nice match for my paleness. Um, this one I do feel like I need to blend like all the way down my neck just because it does oxidise. Um, the only thing I don't like about is the pot. I wish it wasn't in a pot. How do other people put foundation on like this? Do you like just dunk your finger in? I put a makeup brush in today and did it. But I don't know. So yeah. I really, really like this get this um fresher skin foundation by Rimmel. Um yeah. So if you like these kind of try-on videos and um check in reviews, then you should give this one a thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come. If you've seen a makeup product out there that you want me to try out, let me know and I'll see if I can get it and yeah. I'll try them out. So thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.